Hello and welcome. Today we're working on accounting for long-term assets. Now, if you're new here, my name's Jeff from Finally Learn, where we're teaching the financial accounting sequence or the principles of accounting. So here we're in chapter nine. So I've got articles, videos, playlists, so check it all out for financial accounting or for principles of accounting. So let's talk about an intro to long-term assets. Now, if you think about assets on the balance sheet, we have two categories. We have the current assets at the very top, and we generally, in the United States, we start with cash and then receivables, inventory, marketable securities, so on. But our next section, um, probably the largest amount of dollars, is long-term assets, so assets more than one year. So there's really four categories. There are plan assets, natural resources, and intangible assets. That's what we'll talk about today. And then there's also long-term investments, which is a different chapter. So let's talk about plan assets and just get in our mind what plan assets are. Now, you can call plan assets a longer title like plant and equipment, or the full name is property, plant and equipment, PP and E, or sometimes people just call those fixed assets. I'll probably use the term plan assets more often than, than those other terms. Now, to be a plan asset, it has to be used in company operations. So if we sell tractors, for example, then that would be inventory for us. But for if a company buys a tractor, then that's a plan asset. It has to be life greater than one year. So some of these uh, assets have lives of five years or 10 years or, or, or so longer maybe, and it has to be tangible, it's not a legal right or whatever. So let's look at some accounts here for plant assets. So all these long-term uh, assets like buildings, computers, cars, trucks, machinery, equipment. Now land is one of those items and land improvements. Land is not depreciated, so make sure just when we do our depreciation video, we're not going to depreciate land. But land improvements would be something like you buy land and you add um, a parking lot. Well, that's a land improvement. That's not really a building, not really land. That's a land improvement. And that can be then expensed over time. Now, if we have, I've mentioned depreciation, but let's talk about depreciation directly. If we have a plan asset, then we allocate the cost of that plan asset over the life, over the useful life. There's several different depreciation methods, but this is called depreciation expense. So plan assets are depreciated, and this is just a system of allocating the cost. So for example, we would have an entry that would look like this. We would say depreciation expense, 50,000, and accumulated depreciation for equipment, 50,000. Now, you're asking what type of account is accumulated depreciation? Accumulated depreciation is a contra account for the account here, equipment. So let's look at what we have. So maybe we would have, uh, let's look at this specifically. Let's say we have plan assets of 500,000 and we have accumulated depreciation of 50,000. We could, this could actually be the equipment account that we're just looking at or whatever and our net plan assets are 450,000. So instead of directly reducing the plan asset, like equipment, we would reduce, we would increase a contra account, and then we would have a net equipment or net plan assets. So there's some things that we do when we talk about plan assets, and we'll have videos on this, so check out the playlist. So accounting for plan assets, Sometimes we have uh, entries where we acquire plan assets. So this includes all the costs that are normal, reasonable, and necessary to get it ready to use, to put it in place and ready for its intended use. Now, number two is uh, a lot of things we do in this chapter would be depreciation calculations. We got the straight line method, the units of production method, the, an accelerated method like double declining balance. So we'll do several entries on that, check the playlist. And then things like, sometimes you make repairs, which we call ordinary repairs, and then sometimes you improve, or it's called a betterment. 
Ordinary repair is just an expense and a betterment. We add to the asset. We make it a better product than before. And then what do we do if we dispose plant assets? Those are the typical things when we talk about plant assets. Now the next two categories are natural resources and intangible assets. So just really quickly on natural resources. Natural resources are things like timberlands, uh, mineral deposits, any type of oil reserves. So instead of depreciation, we have depletion. And this is when the idea, when our ore is extracted or our timberlands are cut or whatever. So this allocates the cost of the natural resources based on the extraction. So it's not really the useful life based on the extraction. Let me change that. And it's just straight line uh, depletion. Intangible assets are non-physical legal rights. So things like co a copyright or a patent or a trademark or goodwill. These are legal rights. And so these are not either depreciated or depleted. These are amortization. So amortization is the cost of intangibles over the useful life. So let's just think about what we have. Plant assets are depreciated, natural resources are depleted, and intangible assets are amortized. So amortization on all three.